Hi, my name is Malcolm and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at The Pig Lab. Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. In this video, I'll be going through a past year examination question on the topic of fungi and bacteria. I've also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So, let's get started. Question 7. Martin set up an experiment to find out what are the best conditions to grow bread mold as shown below. Now they told us that the slices of bread were placed in sealed bags in all four setups. So now they want us to find out in which of the above setups would the bread mold most likely appear first. Now to answer this question, let's recall bread mold belongs to which group of living things? We know that bread mold is a type of fungi. And think about this, if you want the fungi to grow, what does it need? It must need water, oxygen, and warmth. So let's write this out. If you want the bread mold to appear first, it needs water, oxygen, and warmth. So what's an easy way to remember this? Just remember the word wow. So W stands for water. O is oxygen. And the last W is warmth. So with this understanding, let's take a look at each of the setups and see which one has all three conditions. So I'm going to take a look at setup A first. And I'm going to write the conditions water, oxygen, and warmth at the site. So let's check. Does the bread in setup A have water present? Now, if you look at the bread that was used, it was toasted. Now, if you have eaten toasted bread before, how does it feel? When you bite it in your mouth, it is soft or crunchy? We know it is crunchy. So because it is crunchy, that means is there water inside or is it dry? This actually tells us that it must be dry. And because it's dry, is there any water? No. But is there oxygen? Now I know what some of you are thinking. Since the slices of bread were placed in sealed bags, you would think that there is no oxygen. But is that true? No. It is true when it's sealed, oxygen from the surroundings cannot go in. But is there still oxygen inside the bag? Yes, so we should put a tick. And is there warmth? Yes, how can you tell? They already said it was placed in a warm place. So we can put a tick. Next, let's take a look at setup B. Same thing, I'm going to write the three conditions at the side. Now, does the bread in setup B have water? No. How can you tell? The bread was toasted. And remember, toasted bread means it is dry. So we can cross out for water. Is there oxygen? Yes, there is still oxygen in the bag. And lastly, is there warmth? No. How can you tell? You can see this bread was placed in a cold place. So I can cross out for warmth. Now let's move on to setup C. Same thing, let's write the three conditions at the side. Now, does this bread have water? Answer is yes. How can you tell? If you look at the bread used, was the bread toasted? No. Remember, non-toasted bread, is it crunchy? No, right? It is soft. And because it is soft, it means there is water present in the bread. So we can put a tick. Is there oxygen? Yes. Is there warmth? Yes, we already saw it was placed in a warm place. So we can put a tick for warmth. Now, what about for setup D? Same thing. Let's write out the three conditions. Is there water present? Yes, because the bread was not toasted. So there is water. Is there oxygen? Yes. What about warmth? No, there is no warmth because if you look at the bread, where was it placed at? It was placed in a cold place. So taking a look at all four setups, which is the one that has all three conditions present? We can see it is setup C. So what should be the answer for where bread mold will most likely appear first? It must be setup C. Therefore, the correct answer must be number 3. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. 
If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!